Hi everybody, it's Danielle, and today I'm going to be reviewing and talking a little bit about the book and movie, Me Before You, by Jojo Moyes, I think that's how you say her last name, I'm not entirely sure, and everything that I say is my own thoughts and opinions. I will do my best not to give any spoilers. If I do give a spoiler, I am going to preface this right now. Spoiler warning! So if you don't want to know anything about this, I would click away now. Okay, cool. Me Before You was a uh, book that my best friend and I kind of stumbled across because we saw the teaser trailer for Me Before You, thought it looked interesting, and when we found out it was a book, we were both like, we should read that. Me Before You is a quick read. It's less than 400 pages. I read it in about three days and it's definitely a tearjerker. I laughed, I cried, I was angry a couple times. The book follows 25 year old Louisa Clark in her small village in uh, England and it's about her and Will Trainer, who she ends up working for and he is uh, paralyzed. I'm going to read the back so you guys can get a picture of what I'm talking about. Louisa Clark is an ordinary girl living an exceedingly ordinary life, steady boyfriend, close family, who has barely been farther afield than her tiny village. She takes a badly needed job working for ex-master of the universe Will Trainer, who is wheelchair bound after an accident. Will has always lived a huge life, big deals, extreme sports, worldwide travels, and he is not interested in exploring a new one. Will is uh, he's moody, bossy, and Lou refuses to treat him with kit, with kit gloves, and soon his happiness means more to her than she expects. It's basically um, an adult version of The Fault in Our Stars, if you've ever read or seen that. I will have to say that there's a little bit more depth to Me Before You than The Fault in Our Stars because they are adults, they're not teenagers, um, and this doesn't deal with cancer. It's it's about l learning how to live and um, learning to love a person and it's a, it's an interesting emotional experience. I couldn't put the book down, like I said, it took me about three days. When I got to the end, like I said, it was a very, a very emotional thing and there is a sequel to me before you. It's called After You. I'm not entirely sure if I'd like to read it or not. Part of me wants to see where Louisa takes her life. The other part of me is a little conflicted because I like how nicely this ended but at the same time I want to know more so that's that with the book I saw me before you the other night I enjoyed it a lot there was laughs and there were tears and there was a lot that happens because the whole book takes over the course of six months and so does the movie. I liked the cast a lot. I thought that Amelia Clark did a great job playing Louisa Clark and Sam Caffin, who plays Will Trainer, I thought he did a brilliant job as well. There were a few things from the movie that I was interested in seeing from the book that weren't there. There is a portion of the book where Louisa joins a support group for people who are disabled and she kind of learns how to or is learning about how to deal with this or how to cope with it and how she can relate to Will on a more personal basis and that wasn't in the final film. I was hoping to see a little bit of that but it didn't take away from the essential story. It was just very beautiful. I enjoyed it a lot. The soundtrack was great. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to listen to two of Ed Sheeran's songs ever again without crying for a while. They're calling it a romantic comedy. It's definitely romantic, but it's not a comedy either in the way that you think of a comedy. It's funny, but it's not a comedy. Check it out. It's really great, and I... I'm really glad that I chose to read this because I don't read many adult books. It's nice finding something that is considered to be an adult novel that is just as captivating as some of the other stuff I've read. There'll be links to some other videos at the end of this video, and thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye bye! I really never have and I live in Wisconsin and it's cold and freezing and I don't like it so I'm gonna talk about the time I got frostbite so when I was less than five 